Okay, let's let's leave the hard math for a little bit. You guys are going to enjoy this stuff. Uh, so we're going to talk about the distance formula and the midpoint formula. By and large, you guys are going to find this a nice refreshing break from uh, some of the more difficult concepts in this course. All right, the distance formula. All right, so let's review a little bit on the rectangular coordinate system here. You guys know uh, we have ordered pairs. I'm hoping you know that by this point. All right, each ordered pair has two components, an x component and a y component. We use parentheses to denote ordered pairs. All right, and of course, order is important. It always goes x comma y, or the horizontal axis comma the, the vertical axis. All right, and you can see many of you have, have worked with me when I've used the, the quadrant terminology. You can see the quadrants count counterclockwise, all right, quadrant one, quadrant two over here, quadrant three, and quadrant four, all right, just a simple review. All right, and let's talk about the distance formula, all right, it's, uh, it's, it's actually something you've all, you guys have already used, all right, you used it uh, when Jordan and I were running on the trail, uh, remember we ran two legs of a, a right triangle and Jordan got tired and wanted to cut through the woods and, and get back to the car quickly, and you guys uh, found the length of that hypotenuse, all right, what you really did was you found the shortest distance between where we were and back to the car, all right? So the Pythagorean theorem is closely related to the distance formula, all right? So let's just take this triangle, this right triangle on our coordinate plane, and let's get the distance between A and B. All right, A and B, that's a horizontal line, so all we need to do is subtract the x's. All right, so I can do negative 4 minus 8, all right, or I can also do 8 minus negative 4. Either way, I'm getting the distance, note here I'm using absolute value, I'm getting the distance as 12. All right, and if you're like confused on that, if you're thinking it should be 4 or you don't understand the absolute value, all right, all of you can start here at A and count until you get to B. And when you get to B, you'll be at 12. All right, you can see where 12, A is 12 units from B. Okay, so again, distance is always positive. All right, similarly, we can get the vertical distance between B and C. All right, note that's 5 units, or 3 minus negative 2, or negative 2 minus 3, Either way, the distance is five units. Okay, then that means I have the legs of my right triangle, right guys? I have, over here I have five, up here I have 12. What's our Pythagorean theorem say? It says, well, hey, 12 squared plus five squared gives us the hypotenuse squared. All right, so I get 12 squared plus five squared. All right, that gives me 169. All right, so I know that this hypotenuse squared is 169. Do we care about squared distances? Heck no, we don't. All right, so to get the actual distance or the length of the hypotenuse, all right, which you guys did in that amazing race with the, with the running trail, we get the square root of 169, which is 13. So our hypotenuse or our distance from A to C is 13. Okay. All right, so let's use more general coordinates here. Okay, so I have an x1, y1 for A. All right, B, I'm going to keep the y the same and change the x. And then C, I keep the x the same as B, but I change the y. All right, so again, I have just a plain old right triangle here in my coordinate plane. All right, and if I want the distance between A and C, better known as the length of the hypotenuse of that right triangle, I'm going to add, all right, the differences. All right, I'm going to add the, the horizontal difference after I square it, and I'm going to take my vertical distance, all right, and I'm going to square it. All right, and then I square root the sum of the two. All right, that sounds absolutely crazy, and I'm sure some of you might, I might actually have gotten an eye roll from a couple of you. All right, but again, we know how to find the hypotenuse of a right triangle. All right, distance is going to be the same thing in, in our co coordinate system.
okay? So I get the differences between the x's and I square it. I get the differences between the y's and I square it. I add those two numbers together and then I square root and I get my distance. Let's go through an actual example with numbers. Let's find the distance between negative 8, 4 and the point 3, negative 2. All right, plugging into my distance formula here, okay? Remember, distance is the square root, all right, of, I'm going to say our x's, the difference of our x's. And order doesn't matter there, guys. All squared plus the difference in our y's. All squared. All right, and you can see I've just plugged into this formula. I have 3 minus negative 8. I could also have negative 8 minus 3. I'm going to end up with the exact same answer either way. All right, so 3 minus negative 8 gives me 3 plus 8. All right, and over here you can see how I've plugged in my y coordinates. I have negative 2 minus 4. All right, this gives me 11 squared plus negative 6 squared. All right. I can get those squares, all right, and then I can add those two numbers together. All right, let me tell you when you've made a mistake, okay? If you end up with a negative number here, a negative number here, you have made a mistake, all right? You're always going to be dealing with positive numbers once you square your horizontal and vertical distance difference, okay? And so here we have the square root of 157 is our distance between the two points.